the four six profile the opportunist role model or as i like to say the mayor mentor you are steadfast reliable and here to connect with others you move through the world with deliberate actions you thrive when your network is vibrant growing and resourced your presence calms with your accepting nature and you expect the same you can't be rushed you move to your own rhythm and on your own terms. Your wisdom and network flourishes as you age. You balance the desire to be with people while finding solace in being alone. This time alone only fuels your impact and wisdom. You are a leader with a mission. Okay, so let's dive into the mayor mentor, the four six profile. So this is the only profile where both of the lines are in the upper triagram of the hexagram. So four, four and six, right? So the foundation of the second floor and the roof. However, they have a, a destiny that is, you know, it's personal. They have a personal destiny, right? Because the lower number is in the beginning. So these are people who are here to share their own truths and share their own values, but they still, you know, it's a kind of internal process here. They are still sort of self-absorbed. And so the fourth line mayor is kind, accepting, and takes things at face value. They're a good friend um, and they're reliable and they have power over their network. Um, and the fourth line really needs to oscillate time with people listening um, and then time alone. And they really have this gift for building networks. They're one of those people who um, they can pick up the phone and, and speak to somebody they haven't talked to in 10 years and just like pick up right where they left off. And these are not people, particularly in the business world that do well with cold introductions or cold traffic. I mean, they can't, they can, I don't want to say that it's impossible, but it's a lot harder. Um, so then we have the six line here and the six line doesn't like to get close to many people because it, it because it obscures their view. It obscures their, their future. Right. And you know, the fourth line yearns to communicate and the sixth line, it often refrains. So when these two lines come together, you know, they are here to really take, um, they're kind of the representative of what it means to live a nine centered life. Like they take the themes of the lower triagram and they universalize them, right? They take the, the themes of, um, foundation and building and experimenting and, and just being kind of naturally talented. And they externalize those based on their beliefs. Now they, they don't do all those things. I want to be really clear, but they're here to take foundations, the things that emerge from, you know, lines one, lines two, and three, and speak them as what they know to be their truth. They model them, right? And they show others what it means to live authentically. And they typically have this sort of keen sense of self-awareness. They thrive on stability and they, they do need a solid foundation in order to thrive. And once that foundation is established, they can then share their truth. Um, of course, because this is a six line profile, they share their, they, they live their life in three phases you know, phase one, they bump into opportunities, um, kind of in a more objective way than the other six lines. Um, and they take in foundations that then, you know, over time and their phase true become their truths and, and become kind of the core values that they, they live by. And so of course, during phase one as a four, six, they're going to operate more like a third line. So they're going to, you know, this can be challenging for them because they, you know, that fourth line does not like to rock the boat. And that sixth line is living life as a third line and they don't do well with change. They don't adapt quickly. And this can really cause a lot of turbulence for four sixes since they thrive on stability. And then in phase two, they really begin to establish the foundation of their life. They establish a career and a family and, you know, they get clear on their truths, um, this versus that. 
and what they believe during that phase too. And this is that time where their network is established so that, so that in phase three, they can become the benefactor because that four line oscillates between dependent and benefactor and confidant or not. And it's important to understand that it is during phase three when they climb onto the roof and they claim their influence, they vocalize their miss mission and they really truly step into themselves. Um, I would say that the four six is more tolerant of change than the other six line profiles, but this is only because that they, they, they can see the long view. Um, you know, they can see the perception and perspective can change because of that six line. You know, the four six is here to change the perspective of other people. And they're, they establish accepting relationships, right? And they, they accept other people and they want people to accept us. And when that doesn't happen, it really rocks the boat for the four six. Um, you know, and, and most of the time this profile doesn't do well with strangers. I, I say that because, you know, there's always exceptions to that rule, but caveat, 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 particularly for entrepreneurs. These are not people who thrive on cold traffic. Um, they do much better when people come from their network. I always use the example of, of my husband. He's a four, six projector and he does hiring. And if he hires somebody through his network or like, who do you know, um, the person always accepts if it's somebody cold that he um, solicited or came in randomly, it tends to not do so well. So it's important to understand that these peoples are, these people are here to influence as a four, six, you are here to influence. But the fact is in order for them to influence the four, six actually has to listen to other people in order to get the ability to influence them. Right. And that, and that's the piece. So if they're not, if they're cold, they haven't spent any time listening to them. Right. And so it's this weird dichotomy for the four, six. So it's important to understand that if they have a cold person, they're often rejected, which then leads to disappointment and sadness and often retreat for a four, six, the aligned four, six is is here, they observe and they engage and they look for those that they can trust. They look for those that can have a confidant and they, they look for people where there's like sort of this mutual benefit from the relationship. Um, that's why in traditional human design, it's called the opportunist opportunist. So these people are here to influence and change the lives of others through their message. These are people who are often, they're kind souls. They accept people as they are, and they really do want the same out of their relationship. You know, I, I kind of always think, um, they're kind of like an old soul. <laughs> um, but in reality, you know, these are people who can often be a little bit misunderstood. I don't want to, um, sugarcoat that. And I think one of the things that's, that's important to understand, particularly from a business perspective, Fourth lines in general are not necessarily here to like reinvent the wheel in terms of like creating something from scratch. They're here to take something that they identify with, that they believe in and externalize that. And I think that's where, you know, that's one of the big challenges that I see with the four, six mayor mentor, particularly in business. Um, and, you know, when, when we come to the challenges of this profile, you know, they can spend too much time listening. They can spend too much time bumping into things. They can really have a lot of tension within themselves. So for them, it's really important that they um, learn to honor their strategy and authority so that they don't face um, exhaustion because too much listening, um, is too much for them, not enough listening, then they'll have no one to influence. And, and they're really here to influence the other, not the other influencing them. I think it's important to understand that stability is inherent in their, in their being. So they, they do need to have stability in their lives and stability comes when they have people that they can rely on. It's not necessarily the stability of the first line where it's like safety, security, et cetera, et cetera. While that's important for a fourth line, it's more important for them to have like people that they can rely on. So a tight inner circle, a tight group of friends who accept them. And that can be really challenging for them during the first 30 years. 
And I think one of the other things to remember with the four six is, you know, when the trust of a four six is broken, especially during childhood, um, a big part of their heart can be wounded. Like these are children who, um, they can often become mean and cold when they're rejected, and especially when they're rejected for their truths or when their 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 trust is broken, right? So relationships are really important for them, you know, and that that's a factor that's going to want you're going to want to carry through into adulthood. And I think it's important to understand that anytime you have a four in a profile, these are people who they might not do things at the same speed as other people. <laughs> um, the fourth line, you know, it doesn't want to be rushed, you know, and oftentimes people think, oh, well, if I just give this kid some tough love, uh, they'll grow up faster. And the reality is the four, six, they're often pushed out of the home too early and they really struggle. And the fact that the, the four, six in particular is this theme of benefactor, dependent, trusting, not trusting, confidant, not tr not confidant, leader, not leader. Uh, it, it's important to understand that that four is going to be dependent on its parents for a while or their parents for a while. And when they, they are pushed out of the nest too early, it can be really quite traumatic for them. I think the other thing to think about when we think about the four six is that these are people who can struggle with in, indecision, okay? And they are people who often, you know, the six line just wants to kind of observe without bothering people. The four thrives on being with people. And so they can get into this indecision of like, do I choose this or do I choose that? And they really kind of can struggle to, um, see from the roof clearly, um, because they, they can be down with the people and having space and time for them to figure out what they believe is really, really important. And in order for them to change their mind or their beliefs on things, they often need time and retreat, but that happens very slowly over time. I always think of like, when I have a four, six client, I have quite a few of them. It's more like turning a tanker ship or a cruise ship. Those things don't like turn on a dime. You know, they're not going to do a quick pivot. It, it, they're slow to change and adapt because they need to test what the new truth is. They need to test the new beliefs that they're sort of trying out. And that doesn't happen quickly. Whereas like a third line or a three, five or a three, six, you know, they can kind of like get up and they can pivot and they just like move, right? I think of it like almost like a football player who like pivots really quickly. That is not the the four six. So I think that's really important to know if, you know, you have this profile, if you have somebody in your life that has this profile. Okay. So questions to ask the four six mayor mentor, tell me about X, something that they're interested in. Who do you know that X? Help them tap onto their network. What's your stance on? Da 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 da. Is this person in my net network a confidant? Am I honoring the timing of my life? Is it time to stop observing and start networking? Who do I know that can help me with X? Who do I know that would benefit? Did I enter into this relationship with my strategy and authority? Did this person come from my network or was it a stranger? Is there anyone here I can trust? What is in this for me? How can I benefit? Do I feel safe, loved, and accepted in my relationships? And have I spent too much time listening to others? And now I am exhausted. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 4-6 profile, the opportunist role model, or as I like to say, the mayor mentor. We'll talk to you all soon.